Hello and this is Theme Park Skip and today we're here at Alton Towers for our first proper visit of the year. We did come here twice, um, a couple of months back for the gardens event, that was fantastic, don't forget to check out the vlog. But yeah, we're here today, just walking through Cantanga Canyon now, we're heading up to Nemesis and Galactica up in Forbidden Valley, because usually that's usually quieter in the mornings, we just walked past Wicker Man, it's got quite a large queue. But I'll see you over at Nemesis and Galactica. So they've opened up the extension queue line. I haven't been up there for years in Nemesis. Just opened the queue line 10 o'clock. We're waiting out the front for a bit because it's not open yet. But I haven't been up here for years and we're walking all the way around there and <laughs> even up there as well before we get on Nemesis, which whew, probably not much of a queue, but <laughs> we've got to walk around this. came off Nemesis there, it was fantastic today, really, really good. We were on the second to back row, row seven, and uh, yeah, actually something interesting, the roller coaster restaurant entrance down here has been turned into a hotel guest entrance because the monorail is not operating currently, so they're letting them in here. We're going to see what Galactica is on, which is the, the park's flying coaster. If it's not much of a queue, a decent queue length, we'll give it a go, but Nemesis was running well, and I do like Galactica, not my favourite here, but on Nemesis they were loading every row, they were putting a group on a row. When we rode Nemesis Inferno uh, the other week at Fort Park, they were loading every other row, so they're getting more people on that. By the looks of it, on Galactica they're loading every row. So I'll give you a review after we come off Galactica. Should be five minutes. We're actually getting sent by an extension queue line again here for Galactica. Looks like they've opened all the queue line fences, so it, we'll be walking around the whole queue line, as we saw in Nemesis. But with Galactica, I've never actually been up here, uh, to be honest. It's usually really quiet, but yeah, we've got to see. I've never been up here. I've never seen any of this. But yeah, it's interesting to see. Come off Galactica there, uh, near the back again, not on where we were on Nemesis, but very, very good. But we haven't had to queue much this morning. The queue times we've been doing is walking up and down the queue line, really, uh, because the queues have been so quiet. We just literally, Galactica was walked straight into the station, just wait for the next vehicle to come in. Nemesis, there was a bit of a queue in the station, but it only took a couple of minutes. But it took ages to walk around the queue. Uh, we're going to walk down, we're probably going to do Blade, which is the pirate ship down here, while we're up here in Forbidden Valley. And we also might be doing Jewel, which is the indoor dark ride up this area as well, which opened. I haven't yet done the dark ride this year, which is crazy. Uh, because when we went to Fort Park, they were all shut, and same with Legoland, most of them were shut. But we're going to make our way over to Blade and uh, see what Blade is like. Uh, just to say, masks are required on certain attractions here. It will say at the entrance, such as Nemesis Galactica and Blade, you'll have to wear an attraction, uh, face mask. It's all the roller coasters, except Spin Boys and Octonauts are required to wear one. Uh, and this a select food family ride, you've got to wear them in. But due to new government guidance, you'll have to wear them if you're queuing up inside for takeaway food. And also if you're in shops, you're going to have to uh, wear a face mask. And in the Night Gardens, one of the rides in CBB's land, we're required if you're over 11 to wear one. 
because it's the guidance has gone but you exit through a shop so you must wear a mask so I'll show you when we get to Blade so here is actually one of the brand new refresh and refill it's actually one of the old game stalls here in Tobin Valley at Galat But Alton Towers is the first time we've seen at any part there is one-way paths. Most of the parts are keep left on paths, but this one is a one-way path down here near Galactica. Under its lift hill, you can see it's going up now. You see over there, the marquee is actually the hotel entrance, which is there. That's where your temperature check is taken. Uh, the road cuts to restaurant entrance is usually there, but it's now hotel guest entrance because the monorail here is closed at the moment. With Blade here, which we're going on now, it's the Pirate Ship attraction. We had to walk around the queue again, but this was shut at Halloween last year as it had a major repo for this year, so I'll see you after. Just came off Blade there, which is the pirate ship uh, here in Forbidden Valley. We've completed this area in just under an hour. Uh, we've uh, done Nemesis, Galactica to the major coast, and also the other ride Blade in here. Uh, good to get it done in under an hour. Uh, did have to wear a mask on that one, didn't take long, about five, ten minute queue for that. Uh, loading every other row, and in each row it is your parties, but it's understandable because there's not a meter or even two metres between the vehicles. We're heading down to Jewel now, which is the indoor ride, the indoor laser shooting ride. Uh, haven't done this, haven't done the dark ride all year, um, because we well, did Guaffalo, which isn't it, but since the, since the end of lockdown, they were all shut at Fort, they're all shut, so we're going to come down here, and then I think we might do Congo River Rapids, because they open soon. Uh, haven't done, I didn't do them for the whole of last year, just the queues being so big. But yeah, I'll see you down at Jewel, the haunted house strikes back. Face masks are required on this attraction. We just came off Jewel there, that's actually my first dark ride since the um, lockdown or full dark ride. I did do the Dragon at um, Legoland, but I've done that now. It looks a lot darker in certain scenes in there, a lot better in there. We're going to head up to Cantania Canyon now, see if the rapids are just open. We might hop on there. With that attraction, you do have to wear a face mask, which I think are the new rules now, because it doesn't say on the app or the website there's signs, and at the end of the attraction it says you must wear a face mask in resort shops and you're exiting. So you need to keep the mask on while you're exiting the shops. Uh, but yeah, so I'll see you over, hopefully, the Congo River Rapids. came off the Congo River Rapids there, a bit of a wait, about 20 minutes to half an hour. We'll advertise that half an hour on the app and then it jumped up to 60 when we were in the queue. But most of our queues, they opened up an extension to the queue line and uh, we had to walk through that. We've done the Congo River Rapids, got a bit of a splash on it, but not much. Don't know what we're going to do, there's a lot of busy queues, but I'll see you at what we're going to do next. You're walking down a path now that hasn't been open for years and a path that's never been open before underneath Wicker Man, so I'll take you around there. Down there you can see a bit of the old log flume trough and a bit of one of the lift hills there and a tunnel is still in just under there. That looks like where the log flume will pass under it into the indoor section but log flume obviously got replaced by Wicker Man but they've left most of it in place. So when this was the path when Wicker Man was being built, you went down this way. But this is a service road that they're letting you walk down. So we'll take a 
taking a break now for some lunch here in the beautiful gardens here at Alton Towers. Very peaceful, not a lot of people around here at all. It's such really the heart of Alton Towers. Don't forget to check out, we're going to have a little look around here, but not a big look. Check out the vlogs and they open the gardens. Out in the gardens uh, early, we had two visits there, fantastic each time. We're sitting down for some lunch, having a little break. Uh, from the uh, theme park, the only thing you can literally see here from the theme park is the towers and also the cable car going over and maybe some sounds as well but it's so peaceful and also probably have a look around at the pagoda because I think it's on and probably the Swiss cottage as well so I'll see you after lunch so actually here at the pagoda fountain it's actually on we didn't see this from close up when we went to the garden days as you can see the fountain up there it's just coming down there's mist flying over there it's amazing to see it's a fantastic um, piece of architecture and it looks amazing when the fountain's working Now we're in the garden still, just our last stop in the garden, this is my favourite part of the garden, it's the Swiss cottage behind me on the uh, on the top of the hill here, not just the Swiss cottage that's amazing up here, I love the building itself, it's the views across the whole of the garden, you can see everything of the gardens here, because you're so high up, it's just a fantastic view, it's also a very fantastic building, it's a shame they don't use it, I think we really benefit that as a restaurant of some kind, it'd be fantastic up here, it's like outdoor seating up here and eating in there, uh, but yeah, I think I'll show you some shots of the cottage and of the views up here. I think we're going to head into Dark Forest, there's a staircase just around the corner and uh, see what's um, going on up there. Over there you can see the Prospect Tower and also the Skyride uh, stations behind those trees. That's the way that takes you to the towers and that way down to Tower Street. Down there you can see where we ate our lunch just through the trees. And then over here you can see the fantastic Stonehenge right at the back there with the other buildings in front. But yeah, it's very, very nice, and here's the fantastic building of the Swiss Cottage, which is brilliant. It's a really nice building, lovely architecture. But we're going to be going around that way in a minute. You see down there, if it's the colonnade, it's called. There's the bandstand, there's the colonnade, and just there is where we had a little sit down and ate our lunch. But it's fantastic, the garden. It's definitely the heart of Autumn Towers. Definitely worth just a little pop in. You don't have to come in here for long, like we did on the garden days. We spent hours looking around at everything. But if there's things you want to see, like the Goda Fountain, you can just go down there. Or if you just want to see the Swiss Cottage, this ain't far away from the Towers uh, part of the path. Walk up there. Or if you want to get from Nemesis in Forbidden Valley to Dark Forest where Route 13 is, take the route through. Or if you want to go vice versa from Dark Forest to Forbidden Valley, just take the route through. You'll get fantastic views around the gardens. you see mo mainly everything if you take that walk. Or if you just want to stop and have some lunch in here, it's quite nice just to sit down. It's an escape from all the hustle and bustle of the theme park. Or you can just take the cable car that will give you a nice aerial view. But I'll see you up in Dark Forest. As you can see here, we're just outside the Alpha Tales dungeon, the new edition for last year. This was meant to be the new edition for this year. The world of David Walliams. You can probably see the entrance just up there. The Royal Carousel just through there and Raj's shop around there. It's just over. It's uh, meant to open this year, but it's not now. Uh, but as you can see here, what the area is going to have. We've got the main ride, which is Gangster Granny the ride, the new dark ride in there. re theme of the carousel and fog hopper to fit into the area as well as a brand, the new shop that is also in there but it's obviously teasing against the granny the ride and it looks fantastic from the outside here it was meant to open this year but it's now 2021 you can see a bit of the story there you can see out there what they've done to the 4d cinema they've put a, uh, a british flag on top it looks like it's gonna be like a british area i love what the facade looks like it looks like buckingham palace but this is not the only way we can see it we're going to take you around to claire cooker car's driving school uh, you can get a better view over there, I believe, the main show building. Just up there you can see the largest shop area. So we'll take you down to Care Cuckoo Cars and I'll show you around there. In there, the trees are kind of in the way. We're around here by Care Cuckoo Cars. You can see David Walliams World. Same construction fences up, teasing it. Uh, they've painted the buildings up around there, because this is staying, but you can just about see the building, the show building for Gangster Granny the Wild. They made it look like Buckingham Palace. It looks fantastic. I was really looking forward to this ride. But we are going to have to wait till next year now, but hopefully it lives up to what it's going to be in there. Just see there, they've left the shutter up around there, and you can see that the buildings have been painted up, but we can't see much. They have been painted up. Hex the Legends of the Towers here, the indoor madhouse located in the towers, is one of the, sadly, one of the attractions that is closed, but it is understandable. We saw with Haunted House at Legoland, that's shut for the whole year. We don't know about this, but there is some hand sanitizer outside the front and make some signs around here talking about what to do so hopefully this gives us hope that it will eventually open as you can see we're near the hex exit here but you can see they've already got some construction fences for 
scare fest hopefully we don't know what the maze is going to be like or they can build be indoors but they are recruiting so hopefully it does happen this year that's for the attic scare attraction which is located all at the top of the towers there but looks like work is going on on there and hopefully it will open and we'll have scare fest this year Wicker Man here, the fantastic wooden coaster, the newest major coaster here. I forgot how long it old it has been here for, but it's fantastic. I love that coaster. The arrangements of that were distancing. We queued just over an hour for it. It was advertised at 75, but we went around all the extension queues. Uh, but we, um, yeah, there's distancing in the queue, obviously, they're loading rows between parties, which I think is a lot better than what they're doing at Legoland, where they're loading every other row. And then also masks are required on there, and I really enjoyed it. Very good ride. We've popped into the toilets now, then we're probably going to get the sky ride over up to Dark Forest. Just at the sky ride there, which is the cable car transportation system here at Alton Towers. We've got it from Tower Street up to the Tower Station. We're now going into Dark Forest to see what 13 is on, see if we can have a ride on that. Wait, we only waited around just over an hour. Uh, but yeah, it actually, this didn't open straight away. They actually had to put test dummies or water dummies on the back rows to even the weight out on that attraction due to the distancing. The arrangement in that was distancing in the queue, the same really with distancing between rides with parties, leaving rows between parties. But the back three rows had test dummies in and were out of operation. And also face masks were required on that one as well. But it's a good ride, we're on the front row of that. Uh, we're going to go to the toilets now, and I think we're going to head down to the uh, XX to Spinball Wizard area. I might hop on one of them and make it the last ride of the day. So I'll see you down. What we're doing next. So we're going to make our final day ride of the day, Spinball Wizard, the spinning coaster here, before we head to the shop and uh, wrap up the video. So I'll see you after Spinball Wizard. off Spinball Wizard there. I've never spun so much on that. Uh, with the arrangement to that, I think uh, distancing the queue and each party will get a car for themselves. It only sits four in a car uh, on that one. Uh, masks, I don't know. We wore masks, but I don't know if they're compulsory on that or not because you're not in a train with other people. And we've just walked past uh, see BB's Land and it's dead. It's because uh, it's quite late now, near park closed. Before I wrap up the video, we're going to have a little look in Tales Trading, which is the gift shop here at Alton Towers, so I'll see you after that. That's it for a day here at Alton Towers, so we're in the car park now, we've just come out of Towers Trade in the gift shop, had got a few bits in there, probably show you in the next month's show, 
uh, coming up actually, it's near the end of July. Had a good day, probably my favourite rides ever being Wicker Man on Nemesis, which is some of my favourite rides here. We've had a look around, we saw Walliams well being built, the new edition for next year. And yeah, we just had a really good day. Didn't get on everything, we got most things. Have a good day, but tomorrow we're actually at a different park. Yes, tomorrow, a bit of a surprise trip. We're actually going to Gulliver's Kingdom in Matlock Bath, which a park I've never been to before. It's one of the Gulliver's Parks. We'll be there doing a vlog tomorrow, showing you the um, stuff that's in uh, place there, like the measures that are in place, but also showing you the park rides, first reactions to things there. And I'll see you, and don't forget to check out that vlog when we do it. And I'll also be doing a vlog around Alton, the village, seeing the Chained Oak and the sites around Alton Village soon as well but don't forget to like and subscribe don't forget to follow us on instagram facebook and twitter hope you enjoyed the video check out the gulliver's video when it is online and i'll see you in my next video bye